tonight from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. as their guys get set to match up between the Atlanta Falcons and the Green Bay Packers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Packer team as we interplay here. They've got to be pleased with the start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. Let's get people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Meanwhile, for the visiting Falcons, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And this coaching staff has to be pleased with how their defense played last week. They held their opponents to three points, and that was it. If they get anything comparable to that performance, this one's in the bag. This will make it into the end zone. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick back in 2018 in his third season in the NFL. It's Baker Mayfield. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him to win. And this will be a Packers first down as the tackle made here at the 36. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. So many times someone's success is the product of a lot of things coming together really well. And for Aaron Jones in 2019, it all came together for him. He stayed healthy, was on the field for all 16 games, got handed the ball 100 more times last year, and as an end result, broke 1,000 yards in a season rushing for the first time in his career. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. Now on second and 13, Mayfield, and he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards, a first down. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. carry by Jones and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 the numbers for Jones last week 19 carries 106 yards and they love what they've got in him he's the number four rusher in the league right now so you know that you have to account for him on defense which means you can play complimentary football as well throw the play action get it out to the wide receivers because they should have some open space because the defense will key on them First and ten, Mayfield. 
And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Adrian Amos, the safety, able to make the play. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Caught on the right side by Jones. Five yards, now it's third and five. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Brings up third and five. From the gun, Mayfield. It's caught, Jones. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly had the chance to get off the field here just giving up a field goal attempt. But they couldn't get that stop on third down. Now they have to hunker down because guess what? That drive continues. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Brings up second and three. At the Falcons. Now Mayfield. His pass caught at the four. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity, strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We, we call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's where the knockout occurs. It becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. Gano the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taking it about the 1. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They'll be led out by their 32-year-old quarterback from the University of Georgia, the 12-year vet, Matthew Stafford. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an interception. Pick. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 16 carries, 99 yards. They've won two straight games, and they've done it with the running game as the focal point of their offense. So in this contest... I don't think about doing anything else. I continue to ride the hot hand that I've established and lead with the runners. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, here's Stafford. That'll be caught by the rookie, K.J. Hamler. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. A gain of 22 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Stafford on first down. Now the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Below Nichols. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now.
Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford, and the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. The reception good for seven. It's third down. A seven-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Formation. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Over first and ten. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so, because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the head coach, offensive coordinator, actually called in, the, called him in and said, look, you're our guy. Okay, we're going to continue to stick with this as long as we're winning games. You ready for the challenge? And then they presented it to the rest of the team. And I think we'll see plenty of that as the season moves on. And I'm sure he said challenge accepted. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Mayfield down. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Caleb on chase on. In there to get him. It's a loss of five. Partner, we had their game last week where they had six sacks. So a little bit more momentum here again in the first quarter. And last week it appeared that they were coming out of sprinter's blocks chasing the quarterback. So how do they continue that? How do they keep making it happen? Different looks, different disguises, different angles that they chase it. They were so disruptive last week. We'll see what the trend is here as we go forward. Third and long for Mayfield. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. Fourth down now after a loss of two. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced the dump off to the back, and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the gun, Stafford. Open man, Hamler, that's complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. A carry here for Holyfield. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now a throw for the All-Pro, Kelsey is complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 27-yard line. First down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver, although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. First down throw, Stafford. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. 
Stafford's pass. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. A gain of five, brings up second and five. Operating from the gun, Stafford. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. Stafford's pass. Call it a gain of three, and that'll bring up a third and one. A three-yard pickup, and it's third down. Now Holyfield. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. of scrimmage the 15 it's first and 10 they run with Holyfield they stopped after only a yard taking it down to the 14 that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive and once again they show passing formation showing the shotgun then they ran out of it that's a nice play by them defensively though to hold it to a short game Now a handoff here to his running back. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. They wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. From the gun, Stafford. This will be caught just inside the 10. And they're able to corral him right around the 8, and that's short of the first down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, I'm sure you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in. But I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. Brushing off defenders. They got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. A gain of two. Brings up third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Jack Fox now, standing just outside his own goal line. Returnable here from the 38. 
43 yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. Marcus Peters on the cover. Throwing is Stafford. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. After the sack on first down, Stafford. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. It's a gain of six, and it's third and long. It's Stafford. Jeffrey with a catch left side. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And we'll see Young Way Koo now for the Falcons. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this one is right down Broadway. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Falcons three. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Mayfield on first down. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times, he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll come on to kick this one away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. 
23-16, your final score. From there, we're off to check out another game. And they were losers in that one to the visiting New York Giants. 31-24, the final score. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And they were winners in that one as they take care of the visiting Denver Broncos. 28-21, the final score. Meanwhile, in our game, not a lot of offense to go around. 7-3 is our score. Will we see things open up in the second half? To find out, we get it back to our guys in the booth, Brandon God and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Operating from the gun. Stafford to the right side. It's Kelsey. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Matthew Stafford is sacked. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Falcons send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. So here are the Packers now to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down. On Pressure brought in, and the 
Falcons get there for the sack. Raekwon Davis gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball gets super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. On now is the Packers punter, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. For here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Under pressure, and down he goes. Jarrell Casey, his second sack of the night. That's his second sack of the game, and the best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford, quick hitter here, it's complete. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up the third down. To Alshon Jeffrey. 12 yards on the play. But it's third. To throw on third down. Stafford got a man complete. It's Hamler. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Here's Stafford. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Throwing again at Stafford. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. The ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Brings up second and four. Again at Stafford. 30-yard line. This is Hamler on the receiving end. Stafford's pass. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you filed that as unsuccessful. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. And the Packers pick it up. The 40. Pass the 20. 10. And he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room where they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Gano for the extra point. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. Right, so here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Now this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, 
It's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal game. Packer pressure and down he goes. Jeremy Chin brings him down, and that's a play he's going to remember. The first sack of his NFL career. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, here's Stafford. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. Back now at Lambeau. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On first down, it's Jones. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. At the ten. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Brings up third down and ten. From the gun, Mayfield. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to three. Falcons three. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. 23-yard line. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to up, make man. it pass, and that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. From the gun. Stafford and, and he comes back with one complete and he will be very close to a first down but I see the close fist of the referee and that means fourth down well it wasn't a big strike but that completion put them in really great range what do we have now fourth and inches yeah it's not more than a half a foot you know what I would do here you would always go for it <laughs> I'm one of those guys The Falcons send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. 
It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Looking to throw on second down. Mayfield. Now Mayfield lost the football. And this is going to be brought back. It's a scoop and score for the Falcon TD. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it, and you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And it's up through the goalposts. It's 17-10. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. Young Way Koo. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Now this will make it into the end zone. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You've just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. At the 30-yard line. This is Jones. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Jones. That's good for a Green Bay Packer. Uh, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Mayfield looks to throw. Caught on the right side by Jones. Mayfield's pass. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and eight. Throwing. Mayfield. And that is incomplete. He certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes Matthew Stafford now to lead his offense back out there. I would imagine you want to win every game big, but if you're a quarterback in the NFL, this is the spot that you love. You've been dreaming of it since you were a kid, playing in the backyard or the front yard, wherever, where you went through those imaginary situations. Now it's real, though. 
What practice have you put in since the OTAs, the mini camps, preseason camp, sequence of plays, get the ball to the outside, get it out of bounds, save your timeouts, move the ball downfield to get your team in a position to win the game. And a field goal, of course, no good. They need a score. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, Stafford. He'll get this to the rookie from TCU. That's Jalen Rager. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. A seven-yard pickup. brings up Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. It's third down. Stafford now to throw. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they get five there on third and two. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. Marcus Peters on the coverage. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Able to shake him off. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Stafford firing quickly here, and that's complete. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And they'll indeed take a knee. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Down to one knee goes Mayfield, and that's all she wrote. And the clock will roll down to zeros. Four weeks in, 4-0. and oh. I don't think anybody needs to alert the 72 Dolphins just yet, but great start to the season. Great start. How about them taking a knee at the end, and there's no better feeling for a team than to do that, to close out a victory. But you're right, at 4-0, and oh, they're sending a message to the rest of the league. They're going to be tough to deal with. But Charles, a one-score game. Down to the end, we win. They had one final play in that one-score game. We all knew what was coming to Hail Mary. They just couldn't get it done. Wasn't exactly complicated, was it? We all knew, as you said, and go long and see if we can find someone open. They didn't get it done. Someone's happy. Someone is not. So for the Packers, they, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 on the new campaign. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Carolina Panthers. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.